There is no state of emergency. They have not declared any limited or, or, or otherwise state of emergency. And therefore, persons or people's constitutional rights have not been suspended. And therefore, you have no authority to just randomly stop and search people. He goes on to say, this operation involves the use of drones, which may be seen flying low in some areas. Members of the, which may be seen flying low in some areas. Members of the public are advised not to be alarmed that they're going to be roadblocks. Stop and search. So you're going to stop and search randomly. That is what you're saying, basically. We're going to stop and search randomly. We're going to stop and search randomly. And the GDF is involved here. And I want to ask a question because they say this is an operation in Georgetown. So it would appear that it's only Georgetown um, crimes are being committed. I want to ask, is this a response to the spiraling crime that you have been denying um, is taking place? You know, the police and the government have denied that there's an increase in crime. They come with all sorts of bogus and fictitious figures to tell you that crimes are down and crimes are down. Yet still, we see now, they have eye in the sky. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. So, we could see things gearing up. We could see things starting up because guess what? We know that this is an election year and one of the things that usually come along with this type of occasion is protests and usual violence in the streets and people damaging things. Now that elections is back around, they got a plan. They made sure that they have preparations this time and it's coming in the form of AI and it's coming in the form of technology, security technology. Remember when Early in the year, they had the parliamentary debates for the budget and the EAG was saying that they have a lot of infrastructural development, but as well that is coming with that is a development in the security sector and a lot of money is being invested in making sure that they upgrade not just the laws, but the security infrastructure so that people feel more safe when they're in the country. Well, here goes the steps. So beware all of you that are out there and think that you're going to keep taking people thing and doing people thing. The cameras, them, is watching you. And very soon, they're going to get drones that's going to do more than watch you. So for now, we can go right into the conversation and we can hear the top cop them let you know what's about to go down. They are saying that some of these procedures that are about to happen right now, they might allegedly be infringing on your rights. Let's hear what the top cop them got to say right now about the spy in the sky, the eye in the sky, the planes that fly. The Guyana Police Force and the Guyana Defense Force have initiated a joint operation in Georgetown called Eye in the Sky on Tuesday, April the 16th, 2024. That is this thing started yesterday. It, it goes on to say this operation involves the use of drones, which may be seen flying low in some areas. Members of the which may be seen flying low in some areas. Members of the public are advised not to be alarmed. Eye in the sky will run for one month. During this time, there will be an increased police presence, roadblocks, stop and search, traffic enforcement, roving patrols, and raids will be conducted. There will be motorcycle and bicycle campaigns, roadblock operations, cordon and searches, and the execution of warrants. Members of the public are asked to give full, co full support and cooperation to the giant services. Now, right away, I see we run into the same problem that we tried to explain, uh, tried to explain um, a while ago. They're going to be stopped. They're going to be stopped and searched. Ro um, raids will be conducted. Folks, let me say this. I'm a law enforcement officer's art, and ma many of them who come and talk about it can't challenge my law enforcement credentials. Can't. Can't challenge my law enforcement credentials. I spent 37 years uh, in the Guyana Police Force, walked away from Constable all the way to Assistant Commissioner. I was in operational positions for several times, several years. And I know, I love the police force. The police force has made me um, what I am. What I don't like is the corruption, some of the elements um, in the force. They're bringing, 
this force that many of us so love into disrepute daily. Daily they're bringing the force into disrepute. And we, I am saying, therefore, that when we operate or when you operate as a police, you have to operate within the confines of the law. Many times we feel, I used to feel the same way, that the law is too restrictive and it does not allow us to do what is necessary to, to curb crimes and all of that. But the law is the law. And I remember telling some recruits at one stage, you cannot break the law to enforce the law. The law is what it is. If the law is too restrictive, if the law doesn't provide for certain things to happen, you have to lobby for changes to be made. But you can't go breaking the law. And I anticipate that this what they brought out here to tell you that they're going to be roadblocks. Stop and search. So you're going to stop and search randomly. That is what they're saying, basically. We're going to stop and search randomly. We're going to stop and search randomly. And the GDF is involved here. And I want to ask a question because they say this is an operation in Georgetown. So it would appear that it's only Georgetown um, crimes are being committed. I want to ask, is this a response to the spiraling crime that you have been denying um, is taking place? You know, the police and the government have denied that there's an increase in crime. They come with all sorts of bogus and fictitious figures to tell you that crimes are down and crimes are down. Yet still, we see now, they have eye in the sky. And remember, this is coming at a time when there's an increase. I talk about all these extra, um, they're not extrajudicial, the, all of these drive-by shootings. You, you understand? Drive-by shootings. So I don't know if this is a response to that. But the fact that this is a joint operation between the Guyana Defense Force and the Guyana Police Force, is some cause for concern about citizens' con uh, fundamental and constitutional rights. Because as far as I'm aware, there is no state of emergency. They have not declared any limited or, or, or otherwise state of emergency. And therefore, persons or people's constitutional rights have not been suspended. And therefore, you have no authority to just randomly stop and search people. But you know, when I talk about these things, I hope that these liars who are, I know lots of liars listen and so on, that they will take these things up and challenge. And this is not being, let, let me understand, you have said it clearly, this is not being anti-police. This is not being in, um, supportive of crime. This is supportive of what is there is in the constitution. This is supportive of law and order and the rule of law. You can't just decide to go randomly stopping people and searching them and you're telling people to cooperate. Yes, people must cooperate with the police. I will implore people to cooperate um, with the police. But then the police have to act within the confines of the law. That's the only way you're going to get cooperation. But if you pull over a man just so you end up nothing, there's no reason to suspect that he has done anything. All because you have on the uniform or you have big guns. People are going to resist. They're not going to resist violently necessarily, but they're going to build up an attitude um, against the police. And this is what we have to guard against. So these things that they come out and they tell you about raids and roadblocks, because what's going to happen? I predict that when you talk about raids and conducted and so on, usual suspects, they are going to go after the usual suspects. And the question is, why only in Georgetown? Do you have information that suggests that these crimes are only being committed in Georgetown? Why only one month? Why only one month? Of course, somebody said to me last night, all you're telling the criminals then, lie low for this month or go out to Georgetown because this exercise that you talk about, um, the operation rather, Operation Eye in the Sky, is for one month and it's for only in Georgetown. So a, a, a lot of things, a lot of things, people, I don't know who, come, the, the ones who come up with this idea, but the fact that the GDF is involved, I believe that this decision is taken at a very high level. Because there's no way I can see the GDF getting involved in this operation or in the sky without being so directed by senior, senior people. Let me bring in Mr. Conway for him to have his say on this. Because Mr. Conway, this eye in the sky is directly, directly related to the subject we are dealing with for the power to stop, search, and detain. And I'm saying that unless the, the Constitution or aspects of the Constitution uh, have been suspended, then you can be violating people's rights like that. What are, what are your views, my brother? I was amazed when I read about Operation Eye in the Sky. And I just think they, they didn't tell you the real objective or the aim, what they hope to achieve. And we got to be careful. They're using drones and maybe 
they might very well invade on persons' privacy, might very well invade on persons' privacy. And then, what about intelligence? Is the intelligence working? They mentioned about um, raids and roadblocks. And, and when, we, when we talk about raids, you're going to hear, they just run in a person's place and search without no, no, without no search warrant signed by a magistrate or a justice of the peace. When they have these operations, then is when they would violate persons' human rights. I remember reading at, about the zero tolerance concept that um, William Bratton and, and, and Major, uh, Mayor Giuliani had in the States. Yes, crime went down drastically, but they violated more persons' human rights than any other thing. The, the, person, the government paid more money in litigation than an, anything else. So they, they got to be careful very very careful and then what happened with boots on the ground 100 percent wild crafted seamoss from nature by natives why pay more he look at the perception that is created about him by smelly smell a fucking known entity degenerate hungry belly low life woman.